Starting procedures for the Predator 3000. All right, so first of all, you wanna put the wheel in the lock position before you start it up. Second thing is you wanna make sure that the ESC throttle is in the off position. There's two ways to start it. You can start it with the pull, or you can start it with the start, the electric start. So right now it's already warmed up, so we're gonna go ahead and start it in the run position. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a pull. It takes about 10 seconds to get up, up to speed. Okay, so that's pull start. Go ahead and turn it in the off position. And the way I normally do it is I use this electric start. So you put it in the run position if it's already warm, and you press the start button, and it'll start up. So if it's cold, what you're going to want to do is you've got to put it in the start position, and then turn the starter on. And it might not start right now because it's already warmed up. So we're going to start it, and then it will normally it will start up for you. And then once it starts to sputter and spit and want to start up, slowly move this knob to the run position. And then you'll be able to, it'll sound just like this when it, on a normal startup. It gets up to RPM. Okay, now you can plug in after, yeah, let it run for a minute or so. And then you can plug in the cable for the trailer. After you do that, go ahead and turn on the ES3 throttle button and that will, let it run more efficiently and only ramp up based on its uh, demand. And then when you're all done, you can turn off the ES3 throttle button so that it's ready to go the next time around. Turn it off. Up here is the gas fuel. There's a red level indicator in there. So you just want to fill it up to that level. Don't overflow it. If you do overflow it, make sure you wipe it down so that you don't have any ignite anything that could ignite and that's it